Aloha everybody, Tracy here. How's it? How are you doing today? Nice to see you. Well, if you haven't yet subscribed, please click the subscribe button below. My video is going to be a little bit different in structure from my usual ones. Today's topic is racist symbols in Hawaii. All right, let's get started. So normally when you think of Hawaii, you think of this picture, right? The beach, the sand. You don't think of racism, systemic racism, institutionalized racism, none of that. But Hawaii is deeply entrenched and has a racist background history. So let's go through that background. In 1893, Hawaii's last reigning monarch, we had a queen, just like in Britain, the Queen of England, right? Hawaii had a monarchy just like that. If you haven't read this book or you want to know about the history of Hawaii, I suggest this. This is Hawaii's story by Hawaii's queen, Lili Uokalani. If you want to know about slavery in Hawaii, slavery was illegal in Hawaii. So let's talk about the history of Hawaii and racism and why I say that. So, in 1893, the monarchy was overthrown. Lili Uokalani was overthrown. She was overthrown, and um, this group was called the Committee of Safety. Yeah, basically, they were, they were just a bunch of lawless thugs. They had nothing to do with safety. So, these bunch of, uh, 13 of them, rich, white, mostly American, businessmen, entitled, and racist, overthrew the queen now at that time after the overthrow they asked for the help of the united states and the president at that time his name was grover cleveland so what he did was he investigated the overthrow of hawaii and what he found i'm quoting they were complicit in the lawless overthrow of the lawful peaceful government of Hawaii. So basically what he said was, hey, no ways, you guys overthrew this monarchy, yeah, illegally. And so what they did was they said, well, then if you're not gonna recognize us, then we're not, we're not American, we're not part of America. So they created this Republic of Hawaii. And the guy in charge that they put in charge was Sanford B. Dole. So what happened later was Cleveland gets out of office and the next president that comes in, his name is William McKinley. William McKinley signs the Treaty of Annexation. And basically what that says is that it brings Hawaii into the United States, under the United States as a territory. So he signs that into law. And he makes Hawaii a part of the United States, even though he knows that Hawaii was illegally overthrown by these, what did I say? Rich, white businessmen, mostly American, elite racists. Now we're talking about what this video is about, racist symbols in Hawaii. So look at this picture. On the left-hand side, you see the picture of Dole Street. Dole Street is located in Manoa, a place called Manoa. And then you see it's scratched out and the old name of that place is uh, put in there, Kapa'akea, right? And Dole stands for who? Sanford B, Dole, right? And then on the right-hand side, you see a statue and that statue is located at McKinley High School in Honolulu on Oahu. And he's holding that treaty of annexation. And he is the president that made Hawaii part of the United States, right? So those are symbols and there's many in Hawaii. A lot of the street names have Hawaiian names. If you've been to Hawaii, you're like, I can't pronounce the street names, but you're gonna hear several English names, street names. And those names, not all, but those names are names of those people that were complicit in the overthrow, the illegal overthrow of the queen. Thank you. 
there's a lot of racist history that is left over because of these people and they're named for them. So what can you do as a person? Well, if you're a resident of Hawaii, you can vote. There's a lot of people running for office that um, are for grassroots efforts, power to the people. And then next, what you can do is to get rid of these symbols of racism, you can write, write to the government. And the email for the government of Hawaii is info at ehawaii.gov. If you are coming to visit the islands and you're a tourist, write to info at gohta.net. That's the Hawaii Tourism Authority. I mean, you can write to the state too, but you can also write to the Tourism Authority and you can hit them in the pocketbook and say, hey, I'm not coming to Hawaii because I'm not going to support these symbols of racism, right? And tell them that. And don't come. Don't come to Hawaii until those symbols of racism are removed. Um, share this video. The last thing that you can do is find out about native uh, movements or indigenous movements in Hawaii. You know, the struggles that are going on here. Uh, one of the big ones is the struggle on Mauna Kea. Look at the Pu'uhulu Hulu website and see the struggle going on up at Mauna Kea. And then um, I wanted to do a short commercial for a book that I'm writing. I'm writing a book and it talks about the eyes through me, a brown girl in Hawaii. And I think what that will help is those of you that are not people of color um, to see the perception of racism through a brown person's eyes, right? I'm not black but it's to see through the perspective of a brown person's eyes because maybe racism is not apparent to you or maybe you are a brown person or a black person and you've never experienced racism. Well, just because you don't see it doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. So anyways, I'll talk about my book um, in next month's video that I put out. And then lastly, take care of each other. It was nice to see you. And until next time, aloha. Ahui ho.